Good morning, it's Thursday and welcome to our daily prayers. Um, as I record this, I'm aware there's a, a bit of a problem in uh, Christ Church. One of the lights has come loose from its fittings and could fall down. So there's a few people going in to clear the area and to have a look at what needs doing. Um, but as I mentioned this, I'm so aware of, and this is true of both our church families, that when there is a problem, there are people who rise up and help and get stuck in and work together. And it's just such a pleasure to be part of some church families where people do willingly give of their time and work together with each other. So it's just lovely that um, we're like that. And so let's come to our Heavenly Father, Father of both our churches, as we come to pray to him now. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so we are back in Exodus 5. Moses and Aaron are arguing with Pharaoh about should he let the people go. Then Moses and Aaron said to Pharaoh, the God of the Hebrews has met with us. Now let us take a three day journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices to the Lord our God, or he may strike us with plagues or with the sword. But the king of Egypt said, Moses and Aaron, why are you taking the people away from their labour? Get back to your work. Then Pharaoh said, look, the people of the land are now numerous and you are stopping them from working. What we are quickly aware of is that Pharaoh's priorities are about work and productivity and anything which threatens that is quickly to be eradicated and dismissed. And so this proposal of Moses and Aaron to go out into the wilderness to celebrate, well, heavens, that's several days work lost. You can tell where Pharaoh's concerns are. And of course, it's different from Moses and Aaron. And I wonder whether you and I don't find that in our society. Our society's priorities tend to be things like work, work, work. In other words, make as much money as you can. Or very much to concentrate on generating as much pleasure for yourself as possible. Or maybe some other things as well. And we find as Christians, although Money's important, work's important, pleasure is important, but actually if we allow those things to dominate our lives, they lead us to tricky places. We are far better trusting in and following God. And so perhaps I'd like to pray for you today as you go about being salt and light for God in a society which has different aims and priorities. Let's pray. And Lord, I pray you'd strengthen us all, where our values as Christians can often come into conflict with those of the people and the society and networks we're part of. Give us strength to trust in you and follow you. A space for our prayers today. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, 
and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.